Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. On today's episode, let's look at broadband speed tests. So if you have a broadband connection, either through DSL, cable modem, or some other source, you may want to check it every once in a while to see if you're getting the kind of speeds that you're paying for. So check your bill or check your documentation and see what speed you're getting. And then go to one of the many websites where you can actually check your speed and see what it really is. So there are a ton of different websites that have speed tests on them. If you search for speed test, you come up with a whole list. And some of these are independent companies. Some of these are apps that you can use on mobile devices. Some of these are actually linked to the companies you may be using. For instance, here's Comcast and here's AT&T, uh, Time Warner down here. So there's a lot of different ones. Now, where these big companies probably do give you accurate results. Of course, you can't really say that they're unbiased because they want to show that they're giving you what you pay for. So I prefer to stay away from them even though probably the results are going to be about the same. Instead I would stick with some of the other independent ones. A lot of people use this one, Speakeasy. I'll just pick that one for now but you can just choose any one that you like. Um, there's another one called DSL Speed Test that's pretty good. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just select any city because of course any website you're connecting to is going to be somewhere other than where you are probably. So it doesn't really matter. Just pick something like maybe the top one here, Seattle, and then it will start the test and you'll see it will just take a little while. It's basically going to download some data and test that speed and then when it's done downloading that data it's going to do the opposite. It's going to upload and it's going to test the upload speed. So you can see I'm getting uh, a little over 41 megabits per second which is great because I'm paying for 40. And then the upload speed you can see it's going to be much lower here. Some uh, services have the same down and upload speed. Some have much slower upload speed. And I'm paying for 5. I wish I had more but I'm paying for 5 and uh, see I'm getting better than that. So that's a good deal there. And I can now maybe go to do another speed test here and compare those results. Now one of the problems with the speed test like that is, is testing your speed at the very moment. Now if you test many times and you find you're always getting speeds lower than what you should be, you may want to give your ISP a call. And maybe something simple like they need to do some maintenance on your line or maybe just ship you a new modem. It may not cost you anything and you get up to the speed that you're supposed to get. Another thing that may happen is you may want to check their current plans or ask them about it. It may be that you're paying for an old plan that costs the same as a newer plan that gives you more speed. So for no money at all you can actually be getting a higher speed now. I hear about cable companies and telephone companies doing this all the time, leaving people on these old speeds and when they could actually upgrade them for the same price, sometimes even cheaper, to a newer, higher speed plan. So you definitely want to ask about that. I mean, if you're paying for it, you might as well get the top speed that you can.